Hey, what's up guys? Jacoby from jacobysjourneys.com. And today we're taking a look at this interesting style neck pillow that you can use when you're traveling. It's a great way to support your head and neck when you're on an airplane, bus, or maybe a train. So if you're similar to me, when you travel, you find it a little bit uncomfortable to rest or to sleep when you're on an airplane, a bus, or a train. Typically, I would use one of those neck pillows. That's a really general style that a lot of people travel with. But I've just found that for me, kinking my neck at a bad angle, it just isn't very comfortable and it's just difficult to sleep. So a while back, I was on the lookout for a different style neck pillow, something that would maybe support my head a little bit better, but it's still really compact so I can use it when I'm traveling and backpacking abroad. So that's when I came across this style pillow. And there's, there's a bunch of different brands and styles online, you know, on, on eBay, Amazon, whatever. There's a lot of different styles. Um, so this is the one that I went with. Right now you can see it's fully inflated. And you can see on top, there's basically a hole that you would put your face in. And then on each side, there's holes that you could use to maybe put your arms through. Um, there's just different positions that you could use it with. So that's why I like this style because, you know, just depending on how you want to sleep. If you want to sleep on your tray table, on the airplane or on a train, or maybe you want to lean against the wall and have some support on your neck or your head, this is a great option and a good way to do that. So one of the great things about this product is the fact that it has a nice sized valve that you can use to blow it up and to deflate it. And it only takes a few breaths to actually fill it up. And then when you're ready to deflate it, you would just open up the valve and push inside of it and it would deflate down. And it's great because of the size factor. When you let all the air out and you fold it down, it becomes really compact. It's just about the same size as those U-shaped neck pillows that are pretty common on the market. It's a little bit more material, so it is gonna be a little bit bigger than those. So what I usually will do is deflate all of the air out and then roll it up even smaller and put it into a little storage pouch or something to carry it. But you can see the size factor for it. And then you can basically shove this into your backpack or your suitcase, whatever you're traveling with. And it's always there ready to go. So thanks for checking out this review about this neck pillow and I'll leave a link to it in the description box below if you want to check it out and any purchases through that link will help support this channel so thank you. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I upload new adventure travel videos every week. You could also check out my website jacobysjourneys.com where I have a lot of free travel and backpacking information.